hello hello everybody welcome back we are gonna make apricot fudge today um i have been just relaxing the last hour and a half which was nice and got some toys together for Kingston to donate and some stuffed animals to give to the animal shelter. So I am ready to start this, you guys. I'm just going to share this to my personal Facebook page and cooking groups. Um, if you guys want to share to your personal Facebook great page, I um, would say yes. Share to your personal Facebook page. Please don't share it as a watch party because then when it comes to if we do a giveaway, I can't see their comments and they can't get entered in and then they're sad and I'm sad and it's a sad deal. So if you're going to share it to your personal Facebook page, that's fine. Just don't do it as a watch party. Also, I do ask you um, if you do share it to groups, please don't share it to my live video here or anything like that. Um, what happened last time is we got trolls on the page and when I'm doing a giveaway, there would be nothing worse than them taking a giveaway from you guys. Um, so hello Mary Jo. So if you're going to share it, share it to cooking pages or your personal page. Um, that's about it. I appreciate it and I know that some of you guys have become watchers because people have shared to other groups um, and I understand that but those trolls were nasty last video. Um, there were probably 12 of them that I ended up having to block and I don't want to do that again. Um, hello Sherry. Hello Renee. How are you feeling Renee? I hope you are okay and your spirits are up. Um, hi Sherry, I see your hello, hello. Um, I am just sharing this to my personal Facebook page. Like I was saying, um, with the rest of the group, um, if you're going to share it, share it to your personal page, but not as a watch group because then they can't get entered into my giveaway and I can't see their posts along the way if they have any questions. Also, if you're going to share it to a group, please just share it to a cooking group. Don't share it to a my live video here or anything like that because then we get trolls and I don't want the trolls to take any giveaways away from you guys who really care about my show and are here and are supporting me and not asking me stupid questions like the trolls did last time. So that's my only request you guys is um, please, please, please just share to legitimate groups. Even if it's not cooking group, if it, you know, if it's mommy groups and stuff like that, that's okay. Um, just those my live videos, um, they just have people on there that are just there to mess you up and throw you off your game and it worked last time. I ended up skipping a step because I was so thrown. Um, I know I need to be better at that but I am brand new at this so um, it did distract me quite a bit. Um, hello Cindy, hello Jesus, hello Elisa. We are gonna get started you guys. I'm gonna make this apricot fudge. I've never made it before but hey I think we're three fudges in. I would say by now I'm a professional fudge maker but don't mark my words on that because we could mess this one up because this is definitely a lot different than my last ones that I've done. Um, if you want to share, you guys, share away, share the video, get it out there. Rory, can you share the video? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Have him share it. He is watching the kiddos for a second while I get this fudge made and then I'm going to throw a frozen pizza in the oven and we are going to relax. Um, it's been a busy, busy week. Hi, Tina. Thank you for sharing, Tina. Melissa, welcome back. We are going to get started on this fudge, you guys. Apricot fudge is what it's called. It sounds delicious. White chocolate, marshmallow puff, apricots, my only thing. I don't like walnuts, and it has walnuts in it, but I'm going to grind those suckers up really little so that I don't have to taste them. Uh, hi, Joey. How are you? All right. So it says at the very, very end of the recipe to pour the fudge into a hot, very buttered pan. You guys know me. When my grandma says butter, I pull out my parchment paper. You can butter it, use margarine, whatever you prefer to keep things from sticking in your pan. Whatever you like to do, especially if you have something that works specifically for fudge, I would say go for it. I'm just going to throw in a little piece of parchment paper just on the bottom here. And um, just leave a little excess up on the edges so that I can just pull it out. Um, it's like pretty foolproof for me and that's what I like to use. It's something that's foolproof so that I don't, I don't end up having, you know, to struggle and scrape yummy, yummy desserts off the bottom of my pan. Because there's nothing worse. You're ready to enjoy something and then you spend, you know, 20 minutes trying to get it out of the pan for... For pictures for me, because then it doesn't look as pretty if, if I've struggled to pull it out of the pan, and that's no fun. I did spray a little bit of cooking spray in the bottom so that my parchment paper would stick. 
So I just did that, you guys. Not really pretty, not perfect. Just enough to cover the bottom so that I can just pull my fudge out. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Aunt Christy. I'm doing good today, you guys. Um, I did a lot of housework. Um, went through my son's stuffed animals for the um, animal shelter. I heard that they take stuffed animals. And my kid has an abundance. So I went through those while he was at school. And then went through his toys. And we're going to donate some. And then give some to um, a new baby, Ollie. We've got some baby development toys that we'll give to them. So I felt um, productive enough today to take another nap. Which was amazing. So my boys were good. And they sat on the couch with dad. And, and watched a show while mommy laid down for an hour. Hi, Danica. How are you? We're going to get served on this fudge, you guys. Okay, so we've lined our pan so that it doesn't, our fudge doesn't stick. And in a large pan, we're going to mix the sugar, sour cream, and margarine. So we're going to do two cups of granulated sugar. I have never made this before, you guys, so this is brand new to me, but we have done two fudges on here so far, and I would say we're getting pretty good. I think you'll notice on the side of my pan, I do have my thermometer there again, my candy thermometer. So I will keep a close eye. My grandma does give us a number of minutes to have it boil, but I'm just gonna keep my eye on that thermometer so that we know it's a soft ball stage so that our fudge for sure sets up. Um, it would have rolled out. It would have rolled like this instead of like this. <laughs> Trust me. I tried both ways. It wasn't working. Thank you. Thank you for loving my shirt. Brandy, welcome. Okay, so we've got two cups of sugar. We need three-fourths of a cup of sour cream. So that's kind of a new interesting thing um, that we haven't put in our fudge before. You guys, I'm going to use my handy-dandy um, measuring cup here. If you haven't seen it on my show before, you guys, it is awesome. I use it for peanut butter, mayonnaise, sour cream, any of those things that um, are hard to get out of your measuring cup once you get it in there. Um, also, I noticed that a lot of like peanut butter and mayonnaise and stuff, they have measurements of three-fourths of a cup and my measuring cups don't come in a three-fourths of a cup. And so it would be a pain to have to fill it one and then empty it, fill one, empty it, fill one. So we've got it to three-fourths of a cup for dry and solids. So this is a solid we've got going on here. So three-fourths of a cup of sour cream. Ooh, pushed it too hard. So you guys, I just fill it up and then I just scrape it out and that was it. It's super, super easy. Didn't have to scrape the size of a measuring cup to get it out and it was a perfect three-fourths of a cup. And then we are gonna do half a cup of margarine and we are gonna bring that sucker to a boil. Hello, hello everyone. Stuffed tenderloin, Sharon, please remember to take a picture and post a review on my page. We all love to hear um, what other families think of the recipes, you know, just in case everyone's taste buds are different and maybe you make a change or um, maybe something happened and um, you needed an answer for it. So I would say you guys, Fudge um, is definitely, definitely takes some patience and some education. I've never um, known what softball, hardball, uh, medium ball, and stuff like that really even meant. If you are watching this and you're like, what is she talking about? Why is she talking about sports? Um, it is the stage of this mixture of when it forms a soft, medium, or hard ball. I like to compare it to the yolk of an egg, you know, soft, medium, hard when it comes to the yolk of your egg. But this is when this mixture in a plate with water and ice, when you drop the mixture into it and you roll it around when it forms a ball that's soft, medium, or hard. Um, another way to ha avoid that whole thing, because it is messy and it does take some time of dolloping and putting it into the plate, just get a thermometer like this on the edge. Oops, you guys can't see it. Thermometer like this on the edge. This is um, a heart, like a candy fudge thermometer specifically made for this. It comes with a clip to clip on the side of your pan and just make sure it's not touching the bottom of your pan because then it will give you an inaccurate read. So we have this turned up. You guys, I do have it on high and we're going to bring this to a boil and we're going to boil it for seven to nine minutes once it comes to a boil. Um, like I told you guys, I'm just going to keep a, an eye on my thermometer and not, um, I will keep the time as well, but um, the thermometer is what I'm going to trust the most on this because I do want my fudge to set up. So we're going to want to make sure that it's at, let's look, and it also comes with a cool case that gives you all the temperatures on it. Um, so soft ball stage or a fudge phase, 235 to 240 is what we're aiming for. 
Hello everyone, thank you guys for loving my sweater. I got it from my friend Crystal, she owns um, a wholesale company and I bought it through her and I love it. Whenever you use that, I say I need one. Oh, my little measuring cup, Mary Jo, I have a link on my page. And um, if you buy through my link, you guys, it is supporting me. I don't remember who it was recently on my page that told me about it, but I have um, teamed up with Amazon. So now whenever I put a link on my page that is an Amazon product, it um, a percentage of it does come back to me, like 1% or 2%. It is small, but it's something, you guys, like I said, I'm not making money on this um, yet, but I have now signed myself up and got myself in um in the game so if you guys want to buy these products just make sure you do use that link so that you guys can support me and i can keep doing this my husband doesn't pull the plug because i'm spending too much money um you make hard candy and have to have to a hard ball so i use it yeah so you use the candy thermometer as well candy thermometers scare you why do they scare you um i they didn't scare me i didn't have a whole lot of faith in it until we used it for our Reese's peanut butter balls, you guys, and those worked out, or our Reese's peanut butter fudge, and that worked out phenomenally, you guys. So this is to a boil now, so I'm gonna do it to nine minutes, but I am gonna keep an eye on this thermometer the best I can. It doesn't really hit it, so we're gonna see if it's reading it or not. I'm gonna have to lower my thermometer just a little bit, but like I said, I don't want it to hit the very, very bottom of my pan. So I'm just gonna hit the bottom and then pull it up a little bit. Um, you haven't been able to try any of the fudge because you've been working and tired. I don't doubt that, you guys. Um, I am blessed enough to stay at home. I am tired at the end of the day, you know, hanging out with the kiddos. But I do this for you guys. And um, fudge isn't as hard as I thought it would be. I am going to switch what I am using so that I stop burning my hand with that short little with, um, spatula. Um, it sounds so good, you guys. White chocolate, marshmallow cream, apricots. Everything sounds good, you guys, except for the walnuts. I don't like walnuts, and my grandma would be so upset if I didn't put them in, but I have been sitting here contemplating not putting them in because I don't like nuts in my desserts. So you guys, the, the trick with fudge is keep stirring. You don't ever want it to stick to the bottom of your pan because you are boiling it and it is sugar and margarine and sour cream. You don't want that to bake to your pan. I do have awesome pans I just recently bought from Target and the non-stick is real on these, you guys. Um, we will do a giveaway once we get this fudge poured in our pan to set, you guys. So those of you that came on and know that I do giveaways, welcome back. And we will do a giveaway once this fudge isn't so volatile and we will pour it in the pan. I did try to do a giveaway the last time, last two times I made fudge and it, I had to call in somebody to help me stir. So to avoid that this time, you guys, we are just going to do a giveaway after our fudge is in the pan to set. How does that sound? So right now, you guys, we are at 2.25. And what, does anybody remember what our temperature we wanna be at? So we've got seven minutes left, you guys, but we wanna be at 2.35. So we're not far away from where we need to be. It keeps steaming up on me. But we are at 225, so we need 10 more degrees. 10 more degrees, you guys. And we will be ready to add the marshmallow cream, white chocolate chips, and stir it until melted. So, I can't live without nonstick pans, you guys. I don't like soaking pans. I don't like working really hard to clean pans. I... Um, I love these. I had really good ones, really cheap ones that I had bought at like Walmart five or six years ago. And I just finally retired them because the enamel at the bottom started to chip. And somebody told me that that's like really, really bad for you chemically wise. And so I didn't want to keep them. So I did end up investing in, so we are at 239 you guys. I did end up investing in these pans and I caught them at Target on a super awesome sale. And then I sold my old pans to somebody um, that was just like starting college or whatever, just a little frat guy. And so I ended up only spending like 20 bucks if you add the sale plus the money I made on my old ones. I'm all about the deals, you guys. Hello, hello, Franny. Hello, Star. 
Um, yes, copper pans are super awesome as well. I do have one like copper brand pan that I love, but I do love these pans. So 225, 230, 235. So we are at 235. So we so I still had five minutes left on that. That would have probably brought us up to a hard ball stage, and I don't want that to happen. So we're gonna add our marshmallow cream. We're gonna do the whole jar of it, you guys. And we are gonna stir the marshmallow cream and the white chocolate around until it melts. So I started to get all my stuff ready for the show and realized I didn't have my white chocolate chips. But I did lock out and I did have a bar of white chocolate that equaled 12 ounces. So I chopped up my, my white chocolate bar, you guys, and have that on a chopping block behind me. And that will go into here. Tried to get as much as I could out of there for our marshmallow cream. Smells good, you guys. All right. Well, we got most of the marshmallow in this one. I'm like just burning through my spatulas. So here's our white chocolate. I am going to, so I chopped it up as small as I could so that it wouldn't take forever for those pieces to melt. Try to get most of it in my pan and not on the side. But you guys know me. I am messy when I cook. All right, so we are gonna stir this around. I'm gonna pull this out because we don't need that thermometer anymore. And then I can really get in here and stir these ingredients around. Um, yes, I hope you guys do try some of my recipes. Um, I um, keep all, I have updated my website, except for the one recipe tonight, but every other recipe is on there. So if you ever wanna try a recipe that is in the past, I do recommend you do my website because it is really, really hard to pull recipes off of Facebook to print or to um, even scroll through Facebook to find them. So I do recommend you guys, if you want a recipe that I have done in the past, like firecracker chicken or my fried rice, go to my website. It's mfhungryboys.com. You can also see what our giveaway goal is there, and you can see some of the giveaway prizes that we have had in the past. All right, so that is pretty melted up. We're going to add the apricots and the nuts, and we're going to pour it into our pan. So I did turn the heat way, way, way down because I haven't chopped these up yet. Yes. Madison, it's definitely a good investment to make. I would say keep your eye out. Um, uh, Target.com, they do awesome sales on their pans every once in a while. These were phenomenally priced and so far have zero complaints. And they come in a bunch of sizes and comes as a set. Highly, highly recommend them, you guys. Always look for a sale, though. You don't need to spend thousands on pants. I spent under $100 on these, and they are perfect. Sharon, try, check out. It's 10-minute fried rice recipe, and you don't need a rice cooker. It's just with the minute rice. Check out my video. Ned, I'd never made fried rice before that, and now I make it anytime we have um, like a Chinese-type meal. It's super, super awesome, super easy to make. Highly, highly recommend it. Yes, always look at reviews, you guys. All right, so we are going to do a cup of the walnuts. We are going to put them here, and I'm going to obliterate them even further. Because I don't like nuts. There we go. Get those in there. Just a cup of walnuts, you guys. A cup of walnuts, and then we're gonna do a couple walnuts and a cup, I believe a cup, of a cup of apricots cut up. My grandma, I did text her, she said dried apricots are what you want. So I got some dried apricots. It's gonna be interesting to cut these up with this because they are gooey. But we are going to do our best to just get in there, you guys. Just a couple more spins. There we go. All right. 
We have our apricots, and we're going to pour those in there. And we're going to stir them up. So we have a cup of apricots, a cup of walnuts. We are going to stir them in. Ooh, it smells super good, you guys. Super, super good. We're going to stir everything in. And then we are just going to pour it into our pan. All right. So let's move my directions. Pull our pan in here. Your pan should be buttered or I put parchment paper on mine. That marshmallow cream just lets it slide out all together, which is nice. All right. I'm gonna do that so I don't burn myself. We're just gonna smooth it out a little bit and then let it set up, you guys. And that was it. That's our fudge. Let me just give it a few shakes and see if it will even out on its own. Nope, it doesn't want you. So we're just gonna smooth it around a little bit. Doesn't need to be pretty, you guys, just fudge. You're gonna just cut it up into squares anyway. But I am just gonna, ooh. Wondered why it was still hot over here, you guys. I didn't turn the burner off. Always turn your burner off when you pull your pan off. <laughs> All right. See, you guys, I used to be scared of fudge, and that was it. Now we just let it set. Hi, Macy. You guys, it looks good. It smells good. Hi, Bree. I'm going to throw my kids' pizza in. Oh, they're fighting over there. All right, so my kids' pizza is in. Now we're going to do our giveaway, you guys. I am going to shift you guys over away from my mess and my hot burners so that we can do our giveaway. Hi, everybody. Our apricot fudge is done and setting up. I should shift it outside. I'll do that once we jump off the video. I'll shift it out into the garage and it'll cool faster. Okay, you guys, you know the deal. You know the deal. We're going to do a giveaway. Um, while we do this giveaway, you type in your name. I will read your name off as I type it in. Once I say your name, you don't have to type it again. Sometimes it does take a few tries, so don't get discouraged. If I haven't said your name, type your name and throw an emoji in there or a hand or something, and it will um, not filter as bad. Um, and just make sure you guys, if you are sharing this video, just don't share them to my live video here's or anything like that. Mommy groups, that's fine. Cooking groups, whatever. Last time we got trolls. The last thing I want is to have a troll end up getting a giveaway, okay? We don't want that. We want you guys, the ones that really support me, you guys need the giveaway, not them. So let's start, you guys. Melissa. Maltier. Oh, I think... Malti, Maltier. I want to say my um, friend Crystal told me how to say this last name, and I think I am still butchering it. Macy, I have your give giveaway prize sitting on my um, kitchen counter. Sharon Leach. Looks like you might have to come out here and snatch it from me so the kiddos can play. Jennifer Hatch. Melissa. Askew. Roxy, welcome back. Roxy Blake. Sherry, welcome back. Sherry LaPointe. Again, don't get discouraged if your name doesn't comment right away or I don't say it. Just try it again with an emoji. Jaden Sailor. Cindy, welcome back, Cindy. Um, do the boys want me to exchange their presents for lumps of coal? Yes. The answer is yes. Um, Kingston has been super bad. Lorna, Bron, he's been getting out of bed in the middle of the night. He got out of bed in the middle of the night last night. You guys came upstairs and said he wanted me to come and read him a book at five o'clock in the morning. I said, no way, kiddo. <laughs> Victoria Martin, Lorna, Bron, Denise Bateau. Yeah, you guys, my kid has been naughty lately. Melissa, I got you. Melissa Askew, Elisa Clark, April Haley. Hello, hello, April. K 
Katina White. Tina Fink, welcome back, Tina. Um, if you are entering the giveaway and you do win and you've won before and you're feeling giving for the Christmas season, you can type in that somebody else can, you can do another spin and have somebody else get it. Lorna, I did get you, Lorna Brun. Um, and you can do give your giveaway away for the holiday season, but do not feel pressured. I understand if you wanted to keep it for yourself, you can never have enough kitchen stuff. Carolyn Space Madison Morris, Katina Fink Madison Morris, Miranda Martell. Did I get you already, Miranda? No. Miranda Martell. Bill, welcome back, Bill. Winfield, Billy Hoffmeyer, Sherry by Conan. Welcome back, Sherry. You guys, if you win and you see that your name is spelled wrong, I am so sorry. My my computer does autocorrect, and I try to catch them as much as possible, but when I'm trying to go fast, sometimes I miss it. April Healy, I got you. Rebecca Lynn, Brandy Myers. Macy, you will bring Cal with. Perfect. Jenny Castillo. Renee Medina, I hope you are doing good, Renee. Jesus, you better be taking care of her, Jesus. Lorna Braun, newbie, welcome, newbie. You guys, welcome her. Welcome, welcome. This is Mom Feeling Hungry Boys, and I am Riley. And I am a stay-at-home mom of two sweet little boys and a husband that eat all the time so I started this two and a half maybe three months ago and um, I have never gone to school for this I have never done anything of this kind so you guys are supporting me and my dream it's Heather I got you Shannon Sweeney I've got you so what I do is I do um, Miranda Martell, Martell I got you Jesus hello um, what I do is I do giveaways to give back to you guys to show my appreciation they are always food and cooking related, and I'm hoping at the start of the new year that my friend Crystal will be making me gear, so hats, shirts, sweatshirts, things like that will have my Mom Feeling Hungry Boys logo on it, and I will start giving that stuff away um, with cooking stuff, um, so that's exciting. Um, she's going to make me an apron with my logo on it, starting to feel more official. Victoria Mar Martin, Carolyn Space, April Haley, I got you. Cindy, I got you. Lisa Clark, yes. Yeah, Mikel has been the same way. I feel like it's like Christmas comes and kids go crazy. Franny Robinson, hello, Franny. Cindy, welcome back, Cindy Whelans. Chrissy Lemoyne, how are you, Chrissy? You missed my um, apricot fudge, but you made it for the giveaway, so I will enter your name in. Jennifer Castillo, I got you. Jesus Medina, Tawny, Tawny Navarez, Navarez. Um, Sherry by Conan, hello. Madison Morris, hello. How are you guys? Madison, I got you. Jesus, I got you. Your video keeps freezing. You keep going out and coming back. That's okay. It hasn't been telling me that. So you are in the clear. Cindy, I got you in the beginning, I think, Cindy. Yes, Cindy. Chrissy, hi. Tommy, hi. Dad, hello, hello, Dad. Sarah Peterson, my kids are just being rambunctious tonight. Heather, I got you, Heather. Mary Jo, I got you as well. Heather, Mary Jo, got you guys. Tawny, I got you. Michelle Lund. And once I get all done typing these names in, Lorna Brun from Hawaii, welcome, welcome. When I get these names all entered in, I do go over the list again so that you guys have a chance, if you don't hear your name, to type it in. Jody Hahn, Franny Robinson, I got you. Charlene. Thank you, it is super, super cool, and um, it's super exciting. I'm super excited. Um, I'm new, Sasha, not Mason. I am from Canada. I'm assuming you wanted to say Canada. It didn't come out that way, but welcome, welcome, Sasha. Sasha McDonald, Tani, I got you. 
Rebecca Lynn, um, gear is great. Yes, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping everybody would like gear as much as me. I know it's kind of silly with my logo on it, but I mean, there's sweatshirts and shirts and Sherpa and stuff. Like you guys can't go wrong with that. Sarah, I got you. Bill, I got you. Tawny, I can't wait for you to try the recipe too. Always, always, always take pictures, you guys, because I love to see if your family enjoyed it as much as we do. Alexis, hello, hello, Alexis. You guys, we did finish our recipe already. Um, it is over here attempting to set up which might take a while because it's on the um oven that is on so it's probably keeping its temperature more than it should but i'm gonna go over the list if you don't hear your name after i finish the list type your name again and then we will get going um yes that's exciting you guys you being excited about the gear is making it that much more exciting Melissa Maltier, Macy Moser, Sharon Leach, Jennifer Hatch, Melissa Skew, Roxy Blake, Sherry LaPointe, Jaden Saylor, Cindy Baswell, Lorna Brun, Victoria Martin, Denise Bateau, Elisa Clark, April Haley, Katina White, Tina Fink, Carolyn Space, Madison Morris, Miranda, Mart Miranda Martell, Bill Winfield, Billy Hoffmeyer, Sherry Baikonin, Rebecca Lynn, Brandy Myers, Jenny Castillo, Renee Medina, Jesus Medina, Mary Jo McClellan, Shannon Sweeney, Heather Simbrat, Victoria Martin, Carolyn Space, Franny Robinson, Cindy Whelans, Christy Lemoyne, Tony Navarez, Dean Rasmussen, Sarah Peterson, Michelle Lund, Star White, Jody Hahn, Charlene, Sarah McDonald, and Alexis Standish. Um, Charlie Onsteed, you yeet. I am not sure, you guys, my guard is up today because of the trolls we had last time. All right, Christy, since you, Christy, since you were the last one to comment, pick two numbers between one and 10. Just on the road, thought you would pop on quick. Well, Christy, you better stay on to see if you win. Pick a number between, two numbers between one and 10, and those will be the numbers of names that we pick. Once I pick your name, um, once, the, once I spin the wheel, when your name pops up, I do remove you to keep the odds in your guys' favors, so you guys can only be picked once as a name. Um, we're gonna have Christy pick two numbers between one and 10. If she is still on two numbers between one and 10. Madison, um, not yesterday, but the day before when I was making my stuffed pork tenderloin, um, somebody shared my video into a public group, which is fine. Um, and the public group had trolls on there, which are people that their only goal to do on Facebook is to jump on my videos like this and say ridiculous, obnoxious things. And uh, we got about 10 of them yes, or two days ago on my page saying stuff about couches and couch salesmen and doesn't she look like an auctioneer and is there a stain on the couch and just these crazy things that completely threw me off my game. I missed a step on my uh, pork tenderloin because I was going through and having to block them to stop them from blowing up my Facebook. Um, and then when it came to a giveaway, they kept trying to enter their names into the giveaway. So I just, yeah, it was not fun. Five and eight. Christy picks five and eight. So here we go, you guys. We have all your names entered in. Completely random. We hit set. And here we are with the spinning wheel. I try to get it so that that light isn't right on the wheel. You guys see all your names in there. So we're going to do five and eight. Melissa number one. Thank you, Alexis. Yeah, it was not fun, you guys. Number two, Billy. Number three, Jenny. Number four, Tina Fink. And number five is our winner. Number five, if this is your name, Sarah Peterson. Congratulations, Sarah Peterson. Your job is just to message my page, your personal shipping information, and I will get a gift off to you right away. That was number five. Now we're going for eight. So here's number six. Rebecca Lynn, number seven. Alexis and number eight. Number eight is our winner. 
Heather Simbrat, Heather Simbrat. I think that auto-corrected, but Heather, you are our second winner of the night. So your job is just to message my mom, feeling hungry boys, hate your shipping information, and I will get you guys your gifts off as soon as possible. Yes, yes, yes. Congratulations, Sarah. My dad is the worst of her trolls, but I tolerate him because he is my dad. Um, Yes, congratulations, Heather, congratulations, you guys. So just message me your personal shipping information and I will get something sent off to you. If you are a winner and you do not know what types of things I give away, just pop over to my page, um, my mom fueling hungry boys page or um, mfhungryboys.com and there's a giveaway tab there and there's pictures of everything that people have won since I started doing this. Congratulations, everybody. We have our apricot fudge is setting up. Walnuts and apricots, marshmallow cream, white chocolate, sugar, you guys. Smells awesome. Oh, you guys, it's already starting to set up, which is awesome. Here, I will show you. It is setting up. So that is good. We'll get to enjoy it soon. I will take pictures and show you. Yes, Charlene, I'm excited. I was looking through my friend's book of all the different gear that I can order. It's like this thick and I ran into aprons and I like literally was jumping up and down and they have um, red, which looks perfect with my blue logo. So I'll be doing aprons. I will do hats, sweatshirts, um, things like that. So um, when it comes to the winners, I'll just have them send me their shirt size or whatever it is. And then I will get those things sent off to them as well because how cool to feel that official. Um, send Kingston over with a plate of fudge for you. I can do that as long as you promise to keep him for a long, long time. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thank you, guys. Apricot fudge is down and setting up, and that was it. Our, my kid's pizza is ready, and our fudge is done. So that was nice, short, and sweet. Check the recipe out, super easy, you guys. Do invest in a candy thermometer. It saved us. I didn't overcook it, didn't undercook it. We were at the perfect temperature when I got into mixing all of my ingredients. So thank you for hanging out with me. I got something in my eye. <laughs> thank you for hanging out with me. How often am I on? Carolyn, check out my Mom Feeling Hungry Boys page on Facebook. I tried to get a calendar out there. So for the month of December, I do have a calendar out. As it sits right now, Mondays, I do side dishes. Wednesdays, I do main meals. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I am working my way through my grandma's holiday treats recipes in a recipe book that she made a couple of years ago. So we do holiday treats over the weekends. Um, so that's about how often I'm on for the month of December. It does change. Um, I do sometimes get itches for certain recipes and I pop on when I haven't said I'm gonna pop on so always check my page out um, always in past the afternoon I never jump on in the mornings unless we're doing crock pots but even then I try to keep it around the afternoon because I like sleep um, yes you guys enjoy the recipe hi Gavin um, thank you guys you are so sweet um, you guys our new goal that we want to hit is 2,000 likes and follows on my page because then we'll do two more giveaways those giveaways are my um most prized possessions because those are people that are liking following the page and um we are at like 1995 follows but our likes are lagging behind so if you follow my page make sure you like it if you're not sure like this video and then if you don't like it it will tell like my page it will tell me and i can just hit a really quick invite button and you will get an invitation to like it and then we'll get those 2000 likes and follows um if you like and follow my page and you want to help me get more likes and follows go over to the community tab on my mom feeling hungry boys facebook page you'll scroll through there's different tabs go to the community tab right under my profile picture click community there will be an invite button you click the invite button and there will be a full list of everybody that you are friends with um, you can either pick and choose moms dads cousins sisters whoever or you can hit invite all and we can get to that 2000 really fast and then I get on video when we hit our goal and I tell the secret to get entered into the giveaway. So it's not all 2,000 people get entered in. I do a secret video of how you get entered in and you have to do exactly as I say to get entered in so that we keep the, the group to the people that are listening, paying attention and supporting me. So the last one, it was about 50 people was all. So that's 50 out of 2,000 or 1,500 I think was our last goal. So invite your friends. Thank you, you guys, even a couple of friends. If a couple of you add a couple of friends, we will still get to that goal. If you don't wanna spam your Facebook, I totally understand 
understand. Thank you all. If you guys, some of you have some giveaway prizes. Um, one of our giveaway winners lived in Canada and man, it's been watching that package try and get to you and it's in customs and then it's here and then it's there, but it's coming. I promise next week it should be there. Um, and my dad's treats get there Monday with his nook. So all the treats that we made the last week and a half or two weeks, I packaged them all up and sent them off to my dad. So he gets those Monday to enjoy. Um, thank you guys for all the support, all the time. Um, again, I'm not a professional. This is me. I am in my element. I spill stuff. I drop stuff. I make messes. I make mistakes. Um, I try recipes I've never done before. So sometimes I ask for help. You guys, this is me. It's as real as it's going to get. And I'm hoping that that's what gets you guys to stick around. Um, Yes, you guys, I'm not kidding. When I said it before, if you win a giveaway and you ha um, want something that I have made in the past, message me with your shipping information when you win and say, hey, I just won. Can you make me Reese's peanut butter balls and send it to me? Obviously, um, the best is going to be the baked goods that I'll be able to send. Um, can't be throwing firecracker chicken and fried rice in the UPS. It won't be very good. But if you win and you would rather treats from me that you have seen me make because you don't want to make them but you want to try them, send me your shipping information with a note that says what you want. I will 120% send it to you, no doubt, um, definitely. Um, yes, you guys, so, so excited. Um, that works. Send it to your friends who you think would watch. Thank you. I am so excited for what's to come, you guys, and what um, what the new year holds for this show because we are making moves, you guys. Like I said, if any products that I put on my page from Amazon, now I have fixed it and partnered up with Amazon. So if you click the link of an item on Amazon and you are interested in buying that item, if you click on it and you buy it through the link, I do get a percentage back. It's like 1% or 2% back, but you guys, I'm not making any money yet, so... A one to two percent sounds so good. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. Uh, my next video will be tomorrow, and we are making double mint chocolate cake. It is the closest thing to an Andy's mint, which you get from like Olive Garden. It is in cake form. So a double mint cake is tomorrow. Yes, Victoria, you like some treats, you guys. Just let me know. Let me know. So glad you found my page as well. I will sign off now and post some pictures of this fudge because it is definitely set up and ready to go. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.